Please welcome Lauren E. Cantor. Unconscious bias in our society has made young girls feel like there isn't a place for them to pursue intellectual paths. My name is Lauren Cantor, and I have created Quirky to combat this shortcoming in society, especially in regards to science. I'm an astrophysicist. Well, actually, I used to be. But I got discouraged when I decided to apply for a PhD. Because at the time, science looked a lot like this. But don't you think it should look more like this? Though I abandoned my science career, I was kept with me my love of solving puzzles, my intellectual curiosity, and my creative visions for th seeing through the complexity. I want to make sure that girls have access to science with enthusiasm, fun, and a sense of wonder, and without feeling like they're the only woman in the room. Could it be that women just are not suited to science? I believe that diversity breeds innovation, and role models shape the future that we imagine for ourselves. In technology, women account for only 24% of the workforce. And in advertising, intelligent women appear on screen less than 2% of the time. And the consequence of this is that at six years old, girls are beginning to doubt their intelligence. And this is why I created Quirky a tablet gaming experience that empowers young girls to ignite their curiosity and creativity, to explore the world of science and all of its magic and wonders. Quirky is an adventure game that spans seven chapters. It makes learning Einstein's theories just as fun as playing Pac-Man. There are six million girls ages eight to 10 in the United States, and they typically spend six hours each day looking at a screen watching video games, or playing games. Quirky is a way to engage them with science and be a catalyst for a lifetime of curiosity. Quirky's content is meant to be alluring with eye-catching headlines. We use the language of social media to turn science into a game. And we introduce a community of female mentors and scientists so the girls can see themselves in the world of science. Quirky starts with the story of our mascot, Quibbit who's been lost in the clouds and needs help in a scavenger hunt. Our short form videos are interspersed throughout the game, and you gotta watch the videos in order to advance. And then it's time to play. Quibbit narrates the experience, offering insights and hints, and giving users an education while they play. Corky is designed to be visually and intellectually engaging. Have a look at this image. Can you imagine what it is? If you guessed the foot of a diving beetle, you're correct. Experiments also have hands-on portions, and the players can upload their results to share with the Quirky community. Quirky also lets you chat with a scientist, a mentor, or even our local bot, Quarks. Players are rewarded throughout the game with prizes to celebrate their achievements. Rainbows are formed when sunlight passes through raindrops, and the light is reflected into a range of colors. But how do you pack a huge satellite into a small spacecraft? How do you make sure when it opens, it unfolds in the most seamless and efficient manner? Hire a professional origami artist to fold your satellite. There are six types of quarks, and each quark can be described by its mass, spin, charge, and color. So embrace your quarks and take science for a spin. And those are some highlights of our signature content that we call QTube. There is some good news. Recently, new barriers in popular culture have been broken by science targeted at young girls. The movie about the women of NASA, Hidden Figures, broke box office records. And LEGO is also introducing a collection of figures based on the women scientists in the movie. In 2016, $575 million of game-based education startups were funded in the United States. Although Quirky is run as a nonprofit, we can approximate the market size by looking at the mobile education market in North America. It was 5.1 billion in 2016. Over half of that was dedicated through K through 12 education, 
and of that, our target market is $138 million. Last year alone, over $2 billion was pledged by corporations to sponsor STEM education in the United States. Corporations like Intel, Microsoft, GE, GM, and Facebook. The competitive landscape is rather deep, and Quarky will compete with hands-on experiences like the Girl Scouts, physical toys like Legos, digital games like Tiny Bop, and edu educational media like Khan Academy's Duck Duck Moose. Quarky's uniqueness comes from its ability to entertain and educate with stories and interactions. We engage our players using their own language. Quarky will operate as a B Corp, and the majority of Quarky's media platform will be run as a nonprofit, allowing open access to the platform. We'll have access to STEM funding through foundations, and some of our costs will be offset by partnering with content providers for advertising and sponsorship. And in the future, we'll look to revenue from licensing, merchandising, and even offering premium apps. Our pilot phase in New York City will cost around $400,000, the majority of which goes to game development. Phase two expands to more cities, completes the full game build, and reaches out to more partners for funding and content. And our final phase incorporates advertising into the platform, hands-on experiences, and a full mentor network. We'll use a targeted method to gain traction by focusing on blogs, customer appreciation, and educational microsites. We'll also look to science influencers to post on our blogs, videos, and Instagram channels. In order to get Quirky off the ground, we need your help. We're looking for partners who already have access to the science content or the development infrastructure. Science is about discovery, exploration, and adventures. Quirky is a fun and engaging way to open the door to girls in science. Curiosity is contagious, and Quirky is the key. Thank you.